Hey everybody, T.C. Bradley, host of God Made Millionaire TV, the hottest show on television. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting all week for you, yes you, to show up tonight to watch the show. And what a show we've got lined up for you tonight. Tonight, we have Dr. Matt Menino. Dr. Matt has built one of the largest chiropractic centers in the nation. Dr. Matt is a successful entrepreneur in multiple industries, and he's also the founder of Source Trainings, LLC, a faith-based personal achievement company. Over the past 30 years, Dr. Matt has helped thousands of people achieve greater levels of health, wealth, and life fulfillment. So. Without any further ado, let's crack open the vault and let's get this show started. Dr. Matt, welcome to the show. Thank you, TC. Excited to be here. I am so excited that you have agreed to come on our show. You are an incredible leader. Just give our listening audience a little overview of yourself and what you're up to. Yeah, man, it started It started early. I was 23, graduated with my chiropractic degree, right? But the key was I learned really fast that I had a license, I had a certificate that said I knew all this stuff, but no training in business, no training right. in how to run a business, build a business, marketing, none of that. And just because you have a doctor's degree doesn't mean that, oh, there's automatic success. At least that's what I had found right off the bat. However, what I knew, I didn't want to be uh, working for anybody. I didn't want to be employed. I had, there's a, there's a part of me that says, man, if I'm going to do this, I got to do it on my own. I got to tap into what God gave me and make the best of it. And what really, I think my first breakthrough was looking at, okay, you know, finding the how-tos. Do I become an expert in marketing or branding and all these things that people say to do, or do I look deeper? And what I did was I connected with the principles that were taught in chiropractic school. And the principle really was, was what, what grounded me. It gave me the confidence in the face because what they told me, TC, was that the doctor didn't do anything, wasn't responsible for any healing. What the power behind the healing was this innate intelligence, the power that God breathed into the body. That's what produces the healing. The challenge is sometimes the body, the flesh, can interfere with that, that, in, uh, that uh, innate intelligence, that insight, that wisdom. And the result is disease. The re result is dysfunction. And so what they taught us, and they pounded this into our heads, man. It was just like, it really, it really connected with that spiritual side of me that says, on one, I was like, thank goodness, it's not my responsibility to help to he have to heal anybody. Right, right, right. That power was already in the person. My job was to help find where it was blocked, find where it was suppressed, and release it. Right? Allow the body to do what it, what it was naturally done. And to me, there was no question. There was no, that, that was it. It was this principle. Just like gravity and electricity and everything else, you know, we learned the principles that God set up the universe with for, for our good. It's a tool that we use to, to help benefit every area of life. And, and what I did was, and this was, again, my, my first breakthrough, was I just asked the question, you know, is if, if there's this power that's already in us that can produce health, well, maybe, just maybe, there's a power in us that can also produce wealth. And I begin to tap into that. And I begin to, to experience what I call a breakthrough. And the breakthrough is, is, is just like in the physical body, when, when there's, there's a, a blockage, when there's resistance, when this power that's already there, you don't have to add it. It's perfect. It's pure. God didn't, <laughs> you know, give it to you and say, oh, but it's missing something. Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? Right, right. It's perfect. It's, it can heal, repair every cell, every tissue, every organ, all on its own. It doesn't need any help from you. And what he showed me was that wealth is the exact same thing. <laughs> wealth is a power that's already in us. Deuteronomy 8:18, 8, right? Right. You, you already have this power. The challenge is... If it's not showing up, if it's not evident, 
if I don't see the results of that power, just like disease, disease is not supposed to be there. Right, right. Disease is a result of this power that's being blocked in me, not because of a germ or a virus or anything else that's out there. It's simply a sign that something inside is resisting. And that's the same as poverty. It's the same as financially struggling. It's the same as saying, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what business to do. I, right. That's blockage. <laughs> that's right. a sign. To me, when I look at that, when I see that and I experience that, that's just like having someone having cancer or someone having some type of lung disorder or headache. It's simply a sign that there's blockage. Oh, but now the blockage is not on that healing gift. It's on the ability to produce wealth. Wow. The blockage is why breakthroughs is, is so important. That's why breakthrough is necessary. What happened after your breakthrough, Dr. Matt? <laughs> yeah, great question. So, the, the, so what I begin to look at is, okay, this thing is inside me and I have this built business I need to build that I have no idea to, to do. Right. And, and what most entrepreneurs and what most business people say, well, I got to learn marketing. I, I Wait, need to know, can, learn can branding. Can I stop you? Sure. Can I stop you? Right now, You've got people that stopped cooking their dinners <laughs> right now all Amen. across the world. They're going, wait a minute. You're telling me that I've got prosperity. I've got success already inside of me and something is blocking it. You got it. It's that right. simple. And you came to that realization. And now I want you to continue on because right now they're saying, I want to pay attention to what you're about to tell me. Go ahead. Yeah, so as soon as I made that realization, wealth is nothing that happens on the outside. It's right. nothing that happens because if you, you, you look at it, if, if you follow the how-tos, if I did the perfect marketing and if I did the perfect branding and right. positioning and all the stuff that they tell us to do, then that means every person who did that would be successful, have a multi-million dollar business. Is that true? No. 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 Right. Because it has nothing to do with what's going on on the outside. It's what is my gifting? What is my true potential? So that's what I, st I started to look inside. I said, OK, uh, what what is this thing that drives me? Why did I become a chiropractor? And, you know, what I connected with was a passion to learn about the human body. I was just amazed that, you know, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, you know, just breathing, just cut, you know, I mean, right. it's a miracle. And I wanted to learn more about that. And I said, you know, what's the best way to really learn about the human body? Learn about this miracle that God created. And it was to become a doctor. Oh, and I love to use my hands <laughs> and I don't like blood. So I said, well, I don't want to be a surgeon. So <laughs> let's look at the art, the science of chiropractic. Right. So I get to use my, my passions as learning about the human body and using my hands. And the thing that really I connected with was who do I want to serve? What brings me the most joy in working with patients? And what I connected with was the patient that said, um, I got to live on these drugs. Uh, I, I won't be able to function without this surgery. I've been told that there's no help for me. My heart went out to that person. Right, right. And I, I, I just fall back to the principle. The principle says the power that made the body can heal the body. This person is still breathing. <laughs> there's right. life in this body. That means there's power in this body. It's just being blocked. Right. Again, right, that's, that's the principle that, that there's nothing that can weaken or distort or limit the power. Oh, but there's things that can get in the way. And that's what I connected with. I want to bring hope. Right. That, that was sort of my superpower is to give people hope. Right. You have the ability to heal and your disease is simply a symptom of something that's being blocked. And if we find that and remove it, you will heal. You will get results. I can't tell you how many times people just hearing that other it's than a breakthrough. Uh, exactly. <laughs> other than being told you got to live with this disease, you got to stay in these drugs. There's nothing can help you. Just the hope of that. Right. Right. And I took that into my personal development business. I took the same principle that says <laughs> this power in, in you is waiting for you to connect to it. It's waiting for you to tap into it. And if you're struggling financially, if you don't know your business, if any other symptom, any, let's say, let's say anything that brings you stress, fear, worry, concern, frustration around money, that's a sign you're blocked. 
that's a sign you got in interference on your wealth potential. And so now the question then becomes, if that's true, if that principle holds true, then I'm going to stop looking to, to solve the pain. I'm going to stop looking on treating the symptom, just like what we did over here. Oh, I have a headache, Dr. Matt. A couple of things. You can take an aspirin, make your pain go away. Right. Did that fix the problem? Just for a short period. It's for, it treated the symptom for a short period because right. the problem isn't because your aspirin level got too low, <laughs> right? <laughs> so to give yourself more, it doesn't fix anything. Right. That's the same. That's what most people I find working with so thousands of people, they're trying to treat their symptoms, their, their financial symptoms. Right. Do you follow? Right. They, they have, again, worry, fear, stress, lack, depression, anything that shows up that's not, I'm excited about wealth. I am abundant. Prosperity is me. It, it imbibes in me and I'm to release it. If that's not what you're thinking, if that's not what you're feeling, and if that's not what you're living, there's blockage. Let me ask you this. You talk about hope, yeah. right? And you talk about the healing and you talk about prosperity. What factor does the deserve issue come into play? Because You've got people that are sitting here going, their, their spirit is jumping right now. It's going, yes, I'm, I'm tracking with what you're saying, but I don't deserve it. Right, right, I don't, right. I don't deserve the healing or, or I don't deserve prosperity in my life. I, I've, I've, I've failed too many times. I've, I've, I've had too many challenges. It's too late. Yeah, yeah. You talked about while there's breath in the body, there was still hope when you saw a patient but for the people sitting at home right now going, I love this. I wish maybe I heard this 10 years ago. Maybe yeah, yeah, I yeah, wish yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard this 20 years ago. Is it, are you, are you giving false hope to hmm. people? Is that, is that what we're talking about? Is there some truth to yeah. what you're talking about here today? Yeah, so beautiful question. And so that's where I like to pull in the neuroscience because the neuroscience right. allows us some hard facts sort of gets away from the, the more the spiritual side of things and the principles are powerful. We can talk about electricity all day long, but nobody uh, understands what electricity is. We know how to use it, right? right? So now what does neuroscience say? Neuroscience says we have a thing called our subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind is the operating system for, for the human being. Right. And so its job, it has one job, and that's to keep us safe. The challenge, is that doesn't distinguish, it makes no distinction between keeping your physical body safe and your psychology, your psychological uh, uh, perception of self. I refer to that as identity. And so if someone walks in or a bear runs in the room, our fight or flight response is gonna kick in and say, there's a bear, we could <laughs> right. die, we're gonna run. It's fight or flight, right? Right, right. But as soon as one of your staff comes in with a gun, shoots the bear or figures it out, deep breath, we can sigh, the threat is over, right? right? The challenge is the subconscious mind acts the exact same way with our identity. Its job is to keep it safe and keep it intact. The problem is this sin nature or fleshly nature or the fall, whatever you want to call it, has caused us to learn things about ourselves that aren't true. I call it the lie. Right. And so the challenge is once that lie is accepted at the brainstem cerebellum, the part of your subconscious, part right, of your right. nervous system that forms our beliefs, that is the number one cause of why people experience what you're, what you're saying. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve it. I don't trust myself. Will this work? All those symptoms that we talked about reside and are sourced at a level of a belief system. And I'm going to say that was learned. So at some point in time, the nervous system bought into a story, bought into a lie that you're not good enough, that you don't deserve it. We know that's learned. The nervous system, the flesh, picked that up at some experience, often in childhood. This right. is what the neuroscience tells us. We pick up these ideas and stories from our environment, from people, what people say about us or what we've experienced. And at this level, the nervous system is very vulnerable. It literally takes at word what it's told. Right. And what we know about the nervous system is that you'll never outperform your belief system. So what you're telling me is that 
you can get divine inspiration. You can know that you know that God has given you this dream. You can be given the roadmap even to that dream. But unless you deal with that internal blueprint, you're destined not to walk in that, Correct. In that dream. Correct. And that's also a principle because the Bible says everything in life flows through the heart. And if you look at the Greek and Hebrew translations, it's referring to that deeper level of consciousness, the subconscious mind, not the mind that you think, not the mind that you choose, not the mind that you will. It's a deeper, more powerful part of consciousness that, again, operates by safety. So what I say is that the only reason you don't have wealth, the only reason you don't have joy and happiness and love and relationship is because at some level your nervous system is not safe with it. Period. End of story. Wow. So it's a safety issue, not a sabotage issue, not a limiting issue. <laughs> your nervous system just says, I'm afraid of all this money. Right. right? Well, there's, it comes with a lot of responsibility. <laughs> right. or, or people may try to steal it, whatever. It's just simply trying to keep you safe. So the goal, when I work with people, it's an upgrading of this nervous system back to really where we should be. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What that actually means is go back to the original way of thinking about yourself before the sin, before the conditioning, before the limiting belief, all this stuff. When you're young and you think you're, you're going to do everything exactly. when you're young. Faith like a little kid. Right. When there was no, you're not good enough, you're blah, 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 all that stuff. Because that is, a, like I said, a learned response. And we all have it, TC. We right. all deal with this at some level. You have to take ownership of the fact that that exists exactly. in you. Because yeah, yeah. as long as you blame your circumstances outside, here's what happens in entrepreneurs today. And I've seen it. They run from opportunity to opportunity to opportunity. God called them to this right. until he didn't call them to that. Right. And then they go into this one and they say, well, the company is terrible. And then they go into this yeah, program yeah, yeah, and they yeah. go, the leads are terrible. And they never look inside right. themselves and take ownership until I change the operating system. When I flip on the switch, you're going to get the same result. Now, I want you to be straight with me. I want you to take it to the south side. How quickly, if we can change that, make that change in our operating system, right? Yeah. How quickly yeah. can change happen in somebody's life? And I wouldn't expect you to answer, ask any other question than that, right? Right. So the cool thing is breakthrough is instant. It's, right it's, now. Liter it's literally like wearing a, a set of green glasses and everything you see looks green. To you, that's true. To you, everything is green. Breakthrough is realizing, oh, I'm wearing a set of green sunglasses. Boom, as soon as you take them up, wow, a new perception. I have a new way of seeing this now. And that's where the change begins. Right, right. right? What is that part that God has given that's pure and excellent and holy? That's what we want to access. Once we get that, we come back up to that right side to now re-engage the business, the finances, the relationship, whatever area that we've been dealing with as, as a challenge. Right. Dr. Matt, talk about your book. Talk yeah. about your book you got coming out. Yeah. Now Prosperity Is. Woo! Now Prosperity Is com. So basically what I do is I talk about the three poverty paradigms in this book. The, the three biggest areas that keep people, everything we've been talking about, that block specifically wealth because in the Bible the Bible talks about prosperity being shalom health wealth happiness, all these things I dial into money what are those things what are those strongholds that are set up the top three that that pretty much will clear all that that resistance and interference right away so having that information then I actually go through a, a technique my breakthrough technique it introduces people to the technique, as you mentioned, we have the principle, we have the law, but we need an application, which right. is really important to me. We can talk of principles all day long. It sounds good. It's really cool. We learn those in church, but how do we apply them? Right. <laughs> how do we make it real and, and use it every day? 
So the application of the principle is huge. So I teach that as, long, as well as those three principles. And that's the start of this journey. If you're open and aware and ready, ready for some big change, ready for transformation. And really, it's not change. Right. Change is easy. Change happens all the time. <laughs> Everybody going through a lot of change right now in the current economic right. crisis, right? Right. We're talking growth. We're talking transformation. We're talking applying principles so we go from glory to glory. We continue to grow. As we remove interference, we just expand. Right. That's the principle. And once you learn the principle, you can apply it over and over and over again. Right now, everyone is saying, how can I get this book in their hands. Dr. Matt, how can they do that? Go to nowprosperityis.com. Nowprosperityis.com. You'll put, you'll see a little description of the book. Put in your name and contact information and email. And we'll send it directly to you. No charge, free, complimentary. That gets people started in this transformation process. Wow. From there, we have coaching. We have our online programs that really take it on a deeper dive. But we got to start <laughs> we got to start started. with the first steps. Learn the principle, apply the technique, get some quick results, and then we continue to grow from there. Now so, prosperity is Dr. So you're planting a seed to everybody watching this show. Amen. Amen. That's how it works. Hey, listen, I want to give you way. an opportunity before we go and wrap things up. I want you to look into that camera and I want you to speak a word. Somebody is watching this right now, Dr. Matt, and they want to believe you yeah. so desperately. Mm. They are desperate for a miracle, a financial miracle, uh, even health in their body. They've, they, they need an answer that you can help provide. So just take a couple moments here and, and share your message of hope. So what I would have to say is, is your, your purpose is within you. It's nothing you seek outside of you or, or search for or look for. It's something you connect with from within. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, seek first the kingdom of God and all else will be added unto you. The kingdom of God is within you, but it's in the form of gifts, talents, and abilities, and it's your job to find businesses and opportunities and, and work and career that, that serves those gifts. I have, I have many businesses, and each business showcases and features my gifts and talents and abilities in different and unique ways. The key is the business is not the purpose, that's a package. It's a channel of distribution to get what I got into the marketplace. And everyone, that's the dynamic law of prosperity. As you sow your most valuable and precious gift, you better believe there's a harvest coming back. Bigger and better than we ever would, could imagine. That's the promise that God says. So I would encourage you, trust that law of prosperity. Go inside and access your God-given treasure and just be open for unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Dr. Matt, I am ready to run. I'm telling you, you got me so excited. I'm so grateful that you came by today. Will you come back and see me again? Absolutely. Dr. Matt, pleasure and an honor. Thank you. Hey everybody, can you believe we are at the end of another Power Pack show? You know, ladies and gentlemen, when God calls you to activate your God-given dream, you have to leave the safety of the shoreline. When God called me to do this TV show, this TV show was not on my bucket list. It was not on any vision board. But God was calling me to the deep ends of the water. But here's what you have to realize. I was happy and content on the safety of the shoreline. I had my barbecue there, I had my jacuzzi there, I had my lounge chair there. Life was good, simple, and easy. But how many of you know that God-given dreams require you to be taken to the deep waters? He's going to take you to those deep waters. These are the deepest waters that I've ever been in. This is the land of the giants that I operate with with this TV show. But God has been with me every step of the way. You've been playing it safe too long. Listen, God has called you to the deep ends of the water. You do not honor him by playing small. You are not called to play small. God doesn't give you a dream that is a small dream. God-sized dreams are big dreams, baby, big, bold dreams that will require you to go to the deep ends of the water. It's in the deep ends 
of those waters that you're going to find your destiny. It's in those deep ends of the waters that you're going to find your purpose and your assignment. You've got to be bold. You've got to be courageous. And you've got to be decisive. And you've got to leave the safety of the shoreline. You've got to go to the deep ends of the water where your God is and he awaits for you and your destiny awaits for you as well. Fear not, little lamb. Go to those deep ends of the water. Your God will go with you. Look, my producers are telling me I'm just about out of time, but you know how we do it here on the God Made Millionaire Show. We take it to the south side with our prosperity dance. You better put some swim goggles on, baby, and start backstroking to the deep end of the water. Somebody hit my music. Do your prosperity dance. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, God Made Millionaire is not just a financial show. God Made Millionaire is going to be the launching pad for dreams, specifically God-given dreams. God has given me this platform, not just for me, but for you, to give you a platform where you can come and share with the nations, over 200 nations, 93 million homes, that dream that God has given you you're going to be able to share it to the nations on the God Made Millionaire TV show Sunday nights at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the Word Network. Inside the heart of each and every one of us lies a dream, a purpose we were put here on this planet to fulfill, a God-given mission. And when we tap into it, God will unleash unbelievable blessings over our lives, from our family to our finances. T.C. Bradley's new book, God Made Millionaire, will help you bring the abundant riches of the kingdom to all aspects of your life. Order God Made Millionaire today. If you have been given a God-given dream, now you can wear the most powerful success and prosperity shirt on the planet, our federally trademarked God-made millionaire t-shirt and hoodies. Thou shalt decree and thing and it shall come to pass is one of the most powerful spiritual laws for activating prosperity and success in your life. And now you can order your very own God-made millionaire shirt and wear this powerful success and prosperity decree. God-made millionaire TV host T.C. Bradley designed and trademarked these shirts just for himself to wear. But now he's made making them available to you, his faithful members of the God Made Millionaire TV Nation. TC wrote his three best-selling books and signed the deal for his nationally syndicated TV show while wearing his God Made Millionaire shirts. Our shirts and hoodies are high quality and super soft and can be ordered right now from our GodMadeMillionaire.com website. God Made Millionaire Nation, it's time for you to activate your God-given dream in a big way. Go to GodMadeMillionaire.com and order your official trademark God Made Millionaire swag right now. These are the hottest success and prosperity shirts on the planet. Again, go to GodMadeMillionaire.com and order your official trademark God Made Millionaire swag right now.